What's up everybody and welcome in. On today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a very inexpensive pro controller using only accessories that you can find off of Amazon. I actually made a YouTube short and TikTok about this a little while back and that video is almost up to 4 million views now. Hopefully it's up to almost 5 million by the time you guys see this one. But there were a lot of questions in the comment section. So I actually, I wanted to make this video to explain kind of some of my reasoning and actually explain some of the products a little bit better. Before we get into building the controller, I wanna address one of the big, big, big questions that a lot of people had on the TikTok and YouTube short. A lot of people were asking, well, why not just buy a pro controller and that's definitely an option there are a lot of great manufacturers of pro controllers out there however one good thing about making a controller like this is if you do have any problems with stick drift or if the controller breaks or Granted, if you throw it at a wall, which I wouldn't recommend, you can simply take the accessories off and transport it onto a new controller. So that's just something to think about if you're thinking about getting a pro controller or doing it this way. If you guys like today's video, make sure you hit that like button or comment something down below or just share it with someone who you know has been thinking about getting a pro controller. We do a lot of different types of gaming content. I live stream now on YouTube. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can come and be part of the community. I'd love to have you. All of the items used in today's video are gonna be linked in the description below. And those are my Amazon affiliate links. So I do get a little commission every time you guys click on one of those links and buy one of the products and also it's important to note that the controller we're building is geared for those fps and shooter style games so let's kick off today's video with actually building our controller and i want to start off by saying we're going to be using the dualshock 4 remote on today's video it's kind of bad news for you xbox controller users because some of the items that we're actually using aren't available on xbox sorry PS5 will hopefully have some of these products in the future. It's still pretty new, so I think they are on their way. I cannot confirm or deny anything. Xbox, I don't think you'll ever get some of these items because Xbox has their own pro controller. So bad news, I'm sorry, but had to be had to be said. So let's start off with one of the most basic additions to make this bad boy into a pro controller. And what we're actually gonna be doing is putting on back buttons. Now, PlayStation actually has this great little attachment that has two back buttons onto your controller. I picked one up off of Amazon for less than $20. The back buttons actually connect on the bottom of the controller and go right into the aux jack at the bottom. And the best part about this is you can still use your wired uh, headsets because the aux jack at the bottom here still works. It's pretty darn sweet. And another great thing is actually you can remap the buttons on the back of this controller. So you can make them square, triangle, circle, X, or any of the top buttons as well. And I think the D-pad buttons as well. Am I going crazy here? You can make them almost any, any button, which is awesome. Moving on from our back buttons, another vital accessory that we need to add are precision rings. These come from a brand called Control Freak. They come in three different densities on Amazon and they cost about $10, but they will last you quite a while. And the precision ring actually slides right over the top of our joystick. So these will fit right in here. They help you when you're aiming in your first person shooters. They act as a buffer so you're not over aiming too aggressively. I think precision rings are probably the most underrated accessory out there. After adding our precision rings, it's time to add our taller thumbsticks. These bad boys are also by the brand of Control Freak, and these will help you aim a lot more faster and more precisely as well. The taller lever of the thumbstick actually allows you to make micro adjustments while moving the same distance. You have a bigger lever to make a smaller adjustment, so it actually helps quite a bit with precision. As you can see, it actually almost doubles the height of the right thumbstick. Both these and the back buttons actually do take a little while to get used to, but I think they are worth the adjustment period because they have made me a completely better gamer. I picked these up off Amazon for $17 and they've already lasted me for over a year. Now, as you'll notice, I've only put these on the right thumbstick, which is responsible for aiming in your first person shooter types of games. They're not really needed on the left thumbstick because you don't need to make as precise of movements and it's only gonna slow you down when you're trying to go as fast as possible. So I would only stick with the right and you'll be good as gold. Now, the last thing we're gonna wanna add are trigger stops. These are actually a new attachment for me. I have not had the opportunity to use them yet, but I've read reviews online. I've talked to other content creators and 
people who actually use them and they swear by them. Trigger stops actually clip on top of R2 and L2 and they make the pull distance a lot shorter. So they'll allow you to have a quicker reaction time in those quick gun battles. I picked these up off of Amazon for $14. And that's all the accessories I recommend you guys put on your controller. It totals out to be about $61 if you already have a controller or, or adding on another $60 or $70 if you need to get a new PS4 controller on top of that. About a hundred and some dollars max. It's pretty affordable if you ask me. That's today's video, guys. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. I'd love to help answer any questions that you guys have. Hopefully you guys have subscribed and you're going to be part of the community. I'll talk to you guys later.